Oh, are you serious? I got dinged for that freaking. Uh, oh, oh my gosh. Hey everybody, what's going on? We are back in Alaskan Road Truckers. That's right. My favorite game. I'm here. I'm going to show you a little thing that I kind of teased in my last episode. It is um, a slight money hack, I guess you could say. Uh, it's not going to be a game changer, but it is a quick way to make a little bit of money. So essentially, I'm up here in Fairbanks right now. And what I'm going to do is there's a couple jobs that are along this little stretch of road right here that sometimes the right job will pop up. So right now I am at this place. And if you look, we've got sand to the concrete plant. And if you look at the route, it's got me going. It is all the way down and around and back up. And then finally get right here, even though we're right here, that's the route it has us going. Now this is $3,200. That's a quick plus our winter time bonus. We're still in winter for a little while longer. So we'll still get that. Um, so really, and you'll see when I leave out of here, um, we do have to kind of go down the road a little ways, but then, you know, you kind of make an illegal U-turn and then you make your short trip up here. It's a real quick way to make a three grand, which especially if you're just, you know, hurting for that money, whatever. But if you compare, so let's see. Uh, so this one says it's supposed to take eight hours and 10 minutes for this job that I have selected. So if we go up here, so here's one going from toys to Alpine, it's eight hours and 12 minutes. So $3,700. That's about the same. But if you look at the distance, the difference in distance, I mean, it's still a good payday. $3,700 for any trip in this game is really good, but that, I mean, just goes to show you how much shorter, uh, this trip will be for us instead of uh, actually going the way that it suggests. So we are going to pick this up and then I'll kind of time it out and see how long uh, it actually takes us. And, you know, uh, hopefully get a, you know, nice quick paycheck here because yeah, I mean, and you know, it's, this is one of those times I'm kind of glad I'm a smaller gaming channel because, uh, you know, hopefully it's not something that gets patched and you know, the devs kind of leave it in because, you know, a little break from the monotony of the long hauls every now and then is a kind of a nice, you know, just something nice to have in a game. So we're going to hook this up. We'll see how long this actually takes us to, um, to deliver. So yeah, hopefully it's something, uh, I mean, if you have the game already, you know, kind of keep an eye out for these kind of jobs because it's always nice. Uh, and it's the only, the Fairbanks area is the only place I've found where the roads kind of, uh, do that, where you can kind of get away with, um, you know, cheating the system just a little bit. Uh, but yeah, if you guys know of anywhere else where that happens, let, let me know, drop it in the comments. I'd really love to check it out, but yeah, let's hook this up and let's see how long it takes us to uh, get a quick $3,200 at least. All right, we are hooked up and ready to go. Um, I am right about 23 minutes on my recording at this moment. So let's see how long this trip takes us. I mean, it should be nice quick. Like I said, nice quick three grand. So yeah, hopefully they keep in the game and, uh, you know, we don't lose that, but um, yeah, we'll show you up here where we're going to do the turnaround. I don't know why my wipers aren't working very good. I tried to get out and scrape the windshield, but it wouldn't let me. So, uh, so you could just go down the road a little ways. Let me face the right direction. And then right here, you know, it's not the most ideal spot for a U-turn in a semi, but you know what? Uh, it works and you can do it. So, so yeah, we're going to do a quick U-turn here. And now we go from uh, a very long drive to just under 40 miles. I guess I should have looked and saw how far the drive was before we did the U-turn, but oh well, uh, I forgot. Maybe I'll throw it up here on the screen. 
and we can kind of see what the difference was on that but, but yeah so now we're only 35 miles away from our destination and let's go get paid all right so we are pulling up to where we need to drop off this load and i'm just going to count it from the point of when we get in and right now i am at uh, 26 so that took three minutes to get this load up here so yeah three minutes three grand uh, i think what i'll do next is i'll do that longer job uh that pays i mean a couple hundred dollars more but the length is about the same so let's get this dropped off and then uh let's pick up that other load let's get paid for this let's see exactly what we get for this including our winter time bonus because we're not going to get that for much longer because as you can see we're in the tail end of winter in this game so that bonus is about to go away but let's get paid and i'll bring you back all right let's see what we got so okay i was way better than i expected we ended up with a 5400 hundred dollar payout so yeah i got all of that winter time bonus of 1600 so so yeah three minutes made 5400 dollars oh i didn't accept there we go now the job is closed so yeah three minutes make 5400 dollars uh what i am gonna do next is i think my wipers actually need repaired so we're gonna go to the shop here in town and uh go ahead and get that fixed the stuff that we couldn't fix at our headquarters we're gonna go ahead and get fixed here because i don't like being able to not see out my windshield so let's go take care of that and then we'll pick up that other load all right so here's the workshop in fairbanks um i've shown how this works before so we're gonna go in fix a few things real quick and then get back on the road so yeah we're gonna fix a few things that um you know we couldn't fix in our shop so yeah i mean the wipers are bad probably just go ahead and fix everything because why not we're in here and then we don't have to worry about it for a little while so all right so we picked up the load of toys that are going to go to dollar and d sutton down in alpine um as you can see we're up here still in fairbanks uh, we got to go all the way down south i mean almost all the way down to the coast so uh this is going to be a trek this is eight hours and 12 minutes for this run so it's going to be pretty close to what the other one was i have a stop clock started on my phone uh so when we get rolling i will start this and let's see how long this job compares to the whopping three minutes that the other one took so we're going to go ahead and start it and once i pull in that's when we'll stop it so let's go ahead and get these toys delivered we don't want to disappoint the boys and the girls for the holidays coming up in many 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 months from now but uh yeah let's get these delivered and we'll see what the difference is i'm sure i'll be pretty surprised too <laughs> all right let's move on That hurt. Oh my gosh. And that's why you don't speed when you're driving in snow. Man, that was 8% that that got me. Holy crap. See, trying to hurry up and get this job delivered. That's what happens. Uh oh that doesn't look good like somebody was driving too fast for the conditions told you AI is freaking oh maybe they're actually in a parking area don't know couldn't tell but AI does drive crazy in this game you should see it uh one of the first episodes I did in this run through it's crazy how uh they'll slip out and run off the road it's pretty entertaining for sure kind of like I do because I try to go too fast oh see see oh no freaking really see karma that's what I get for talking crap about the AI oh 
And I think my jacket must have wore off because my guy is getting cold. Yep, see, thermal jacket 0%. Let's get you on. There we go. Now we're back to nice and warm. All right, let's get this delivered. Goodness. We're down to we're about halfway there. Oh, no. Okay, so this is what I was talking about before. As this is a roadblock that you cannot get around. Um, you actually have to call for help. Let's see if it's even... See, I can't even loop around. All right, so let's, uh, this is where your CB comes in handy. Uh, I don't have, what? Seriously? What are the chances I can drive through it? Nope. Oh my gosh. Can I go around it? It's going to be some severe off-road. What? Oh, I can't. All right, let's see if I can get up there. It's a little more gradual. Oh my gosh. Talk about adding time. Trucks weren't made for this. Are you gonna make it? Nope. All right, let's try backing up. See, I don't know why I don't have that perk unlocked. It, I thought it was unlocked from the get go, but apparently not. Oh, let's see if my character has it by chance. Come on. What are the chances? Oh, yes. Uh, oh no, I need level two. Oh my gosh. Seriously. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and unlock this one while we're here Might as well. Maybe I can show you that sometime. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Just kind of ruin that run that I had planned. Like, unless I can get around this, but I know if you get too far off the road, it kind of boot you back. Come on, come on, come on. Crap. Okay, let's take the long way around, maybe. I mean, if not, I'm gonna have to freaking backtrack, and then this whole run is pretty much null and void, because it's not gonna count. Seriously, what am I? Seriously? Now I'm stuck. Awesome for services. Man. What the heck? Are you going to make me go through and do this? Come on. Just let me cheat it a little bit. Let me get around this. Here. Oh, what are the chances? Oh, what are the chances? Oh, I don't know how I'm going to get down, but I got around. Might take some cargo damage. No? <laughs> All right. Okay, well, so that's the first time I've ever tried that. Um, yeah, so we need to work hard on trying to get that perk unlocked because that was no fun. Um, I probably should have paused the time for that, but, you know, that's just kind of part of the game. So you never know what you're going to run into, but, all right, so now we're at least able to continue on. I didn't even get a notification that there was a roadblock. Usually you at least get that, but, oh, well. Let's uh, try to open and get this delivered. I mean, we're still only like halfway there. So let's get this load dropped off. Oh, are you serious? I got dinged for that freaking 
Uh, oh, oh my gosh. What the f seriously? Because you ran the fucking stuff. Really? Is that you're just going to add insult to injury? That's bullshit. What the frick? Dude ran the freaking stop sign. And now my cargo is all the way down to 53 freaking percent. Damaged my headlight in the process. Oh my gosh. Seriously, dude. And then you want to come up and tap me while I'm freaking wrecked. Seriously. Like, this is the run from hell. Like, I never have this dude I need to turn around. Come on. Seriously? Will you despawn or something? Like, move? Oh my gosh. I gotta get moved? So, I'm gonna say that <laughs> uh, the, the timing for this run, uh, I'm gonna have to pick another job and uh, figure out um, what that time is on that because uh yeah i'm i, I don't think this really counts because now i gotta try to freaking turn around somewhere and i need to repair my headlight because okay, if you hit me it's my fault but yeah that dude just straight up ran through that stop sign right over here and i got dinged for it i got the freaking penalty from the police and my car goes now down to 53 freaking percent that is the worst i have ever done such bs oh my gosh i gotta fix my freaking headlight which one is it not that one that one okay let's fix it come on gotta get back on the road again this is like this job is taking way longer than it should have oh my gosh let me drink my coffee. Where's my coffee? There we go. Drink my coffee because my guy's going to start getting tired here pretty quick. And I'm like, oh my God. What is up with this? This is like the cursed run. I, oh, now you're going to tell me there's an obstacle on the word. I appreciate the heads up on that one. Better late than never. Uh, my ass. How about that? <laughs> I wonder if it's, hold on, let's look at the map and see if that's the one that it's talking about. Yeah, it sure is the one that we already passed. So yeah, I appreciate that heads up. What the crap? All right. So, um, you know, I'd hate to use the phrase of what else can go wrong, but we all know how that turns out. So, um, stay tuned. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's see how that, you know, and it's all because all I want to do is do a quick, you know, kind of show you, Hey, here's a little money hack for you. So you can make a little extra money quick. You know, this is, you know, the game telling me, Hey, you shouldn't be telling people about this because this is what's going to happen when you try to do a real run. So, oh my goodness. I can't believe that freaking not like I all kind like I, oh my gosh, I can't even put into words. This is crazy. Oh, all right. Let's get this delivered. Hopefully nothing else happens in these less than 200 miles. We have left to drop this load off. So my timer's still running on my, um, still running. So we'll see, uh, what this total time ends up being, but it's definitely not going to count, um, against that three minute timer because, and again, I mean, this just goes to show you that, you know, while yeah these long runs are nice because they do pay more you have a chance of uh really running into some shit so uh literally so yeah i mean this just goes to show you if you can do those quick jobs take advantage especially if they're going to pay you the money i mean you're not going to get the miles so you're not going to get the xp um for driving the miles but you know if you just want the money it's it's a good route to go so Anywho, let's, let's get this delivered. Hopefully drama free from here on out. Um, yeah, let's get going. So I'm going to try something real quick. And for some reason, when you first start the game, um, and let's say you have your jacket equipped or, you know, the truck is running or something like that, you have to unequip and then reequip your jacket. It's just, I mean, it's a bug that I've 
kind of learn to deal with. Um, but I got to thinking about, I've been sliding a lot and I wonder if it's the same thing with the chains. So I just went and took the chains off, put them back on. So let's kind of see if that helps with our grip at all. I mean, I'm not saying there's not a lot of user error in my, uh, Rex, but it does seem like I have been slipping a lot. Um, a lot more than I would imagine I would be or should be with chains in this game. So, so yeah, I mean, like I said, it's just a, a small bug that I'm like, I kind of used to it. Like when I first jump in, I always, you know, unequip and then reequip my jacket, uh, the heater in the truck, I turn it off and then turn it back on because when you load into the game, you don't hear the heater running. Um, so like I said, I just turn it off and then back on. But I wonder if the chains uh, is something like that too. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll give it a shot. <laughs> I mean, my run can't get a whole lot worse. Uh, I don't know what happens when you get 0% on your cargo. Uh, I really don't want to find out this run because, um, yeah, I mean, I just don't. I, I want to get there in one piece and at least make a little bit of money. You know, especially since I'd spent $4,600 at the shop in Fairbanks fixing the truck up. So, um, so yeah, let's try that. See what happens. See if I feel like I have more grip now. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know what I feel, what I find out. <laughs> Almost caught me. I was speeding. Oh, but it's 15 here. Okay. Cause yeah, you will get a ticket for speeding in this game. But we are in the home stretch, less than 100 miles to go. Let's see if we can make it in one piece. Oh my gosh. So close yet so far away. Oh, son of a... See, that's what I said. I wasn't paying attention. Got a speeding ticket. Doing 40 into 25. Not me being impatient, not at all. Oh my gosh. Just add that to the checklist of crap that's happened in this freaking run. Oh, <laughs> I think you slightly overcorrected there, buddy. Just a little bit. All right. So here is our <laughs> drop off. Finally, uh, let's check our timer and see <laughs> 30 minutes. This is taking me third. This is I'm, uh, usually these trips aren't this long, but oh my gosh, I've had, if it can go wrong, it will. Um, like, I don't even want to back up. I just want to park and get this thing done. And I probably not going to get it. I've got to at least get five stars. So I at least, I at least have to do that because holy crap. I'm not going to get paid squat for this run. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's, uh, unhook this <laughs> cursed load and let's go get paid. Oh, I know this payout is not going to be good. I mean, 53, 56% damage total. Yeah. I mean, you know, we got almost six grand on the last payout. The cargo pen penalty is bigger than our freaking bonus. Like that is, oh my gosh, the worst. So, I mean, uh, that just goes to show you doing <laughs> those short runs is probably better for many reasons. Um, your, your sanity being one of them, I can vouch for that. And I didn't complete the job. Um, you know, because the, the shorter trips, there's a lot less that can actually go wrong. And, um, you know, it, it's quick money. So just keep an eye on those jobs in that area that I showed you on the map. Uh, they will pay out really well, uh, in the long run. And if you, especially if you can do a bunch of those back to back to back. Um, but that is where we're going to call it this time. I know we don't have an accurate run of what an eight hour, uh, job is going to do, but, uh, for my sanity and the sake of my truck, uh, making it alive. I think I'm going to call it here. So 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And until next time, bye for now.